Holly's Corner and today I will be talking about my TBR pile for March. This pile is very small and it only contains four books just because one of the books is quite big and so I didn't want to push myself too much. So let's get on to the video I will be talking about. It's a book that I think I started in February or I started it at the beginning of March and it's called Unnatural Causes by Dr Richard Shepherd. I have read a lot of this book already so obviously I'm hoping to finish it in March and I'd read the back so you get the gist. Top forensic pathologist Dr Richard Shepherd has performed over 23,000 autopsies. A detective in his own right, he must solve the mystery of, a su of sudden or unexplained deaths. How did this person die? In the pursuit of the truth, he has tackled serial killers, natural disasters, perfect murders and freak accidents. His evidence has put killers behind bars, freed the innocent and turned open and shut cases on their heads. Yet all of this has come to a huge pers personal cost. In natural causes, he tells us the story not only of the bodies and the cases that have haunted him the most, but also how to live life steeped in death. And so far, this book is pretty good. I won't go into too much detail because I'd obviously do a... Uh, March Roundup at the end of the month. Going on to the second book I would like to read in March is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han and I've wanted to read this book for ages just because I'm so excited to read anything by her because my th what three of my favourite films is to all the boys I've loved before or three of them and I really want to read the book so I thought, since I have this book anyway, I'm going to read it, see if I enjoy her writing. And then I'll buy the rest of this trilogy. And then I'll buy it to all the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy to read them. And on the back, it says, Every year, Isabel spends a perfect summer at her fr family friend's house. There's the swimming pool, pool at night the private stretch of the beach and of course two boys Conrad unavailable aloof who he, who she's been in love with forever Jeremiah friendly and relaxed the only one who's ever paid her any attention but this year something is different they seem to have noticed her for the first time and it's going to be an amazing summer and one should never forget so yes I'm quite excited to read this book the third book I've re I'm really excited to read I haven't heard much about this book neither uh, and it is Since You've Been Gone by Anuska Knight I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name I'm not very good at pronouncing names and obviously I assume it's a bit of romance, but that's about it. I don't know anything else. And I haven't looked it up on Goodreads yet, but I think I'm not going to just so I can leave it all to a surprise. But on the back, it says, In one tragic moment, Holly Jefferson's life, as she knows, changes forever. Now to the external world, at least. She's finally getting back on her feet and running her business cake. Then she meets Kieran Argyle. His rich and charm life fe feels a million miles from her own. However, there's more to Kieran than the superficial world that surrounds him. And he is too wrestling his own ghosts. Will Holly finally find the missing ingredient that allows her to live again and embrace an unknown tomorrow? So yes, I'm rather excited to read this book. I think this book will be a bit different and I actually haven't read a single book to do with anything to do with baking <laughs> or cooking. <laughs> okay, the last <laughs> book I'm excited to read is a book I was suggested to read months and months ago and I've only ever read one other book by this author and it's called Green Mile. 
which I really did enjoy. So for next book I would like to read March or at least start is 112263 by Stephen King and when I researched about King and what books I should start off to ease myself into it, it this was the book I was suggested but I ended up going with The Green Mile which I enjoyed and then I got this one when I found out that I enjoyed King's writing and I've heard quite a lot of good things about this so I've heard like a handful of bad things here and there but overall I've heard just good things and on the back it says on November the 22nd 1963 three shots rang out in Dallas President Kennedy died and the world changed unless in 2011 Jake Epping an English teacher from Lisbon Falls, Maine, sets out an insane and insanely Im insanely possible mission to prevent the Kennedy assassination. Leaving behind a world of computers and mobile phones, he goes back to a time of, of big American cars and diners, of Lindy Hopping, the sound of Elvis and the taste of root beer. In this haunting world, Jake falls in love with Sadie, a high school librarian. And as the ominous date of 11.22.63 approaches, he encounters a troubled loner named Lee Harvey Oswald. So yes, I'm really excited to read this book. I have got quite a couple of King books as well in my bookshelf. <laughs> So yes, that's a roundup of all the books I would like to read in March, or at least start. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe and turn your notif notification bell on. And don't forget to leave any video ideas in the comments. Thank you, bye!